I know you're at one of my favorite events, the New York International Auto Show. Uh, I'm coming to you. We're uh, just up the road from where you normally are in Marietta. I'm in Kennesaw. And uh, what uh, for Atlantans and Georgians that love their cars, what, uh, what, what are you seeing up there that catches your eye so far? Well, there's a lot of cool stuff. There's an old Lamborghini SUV, if you remember those, that's kind of cool. There's also a new Polestar electric car and an SUV, and they're going to make a debut here also. And there's a new Kia gas-powered compact sedan that's both affordable and you can get like a turbocharged version with paddle shifters. That's the Kia K4. I love the word affordable, Brian, because as you know, uh, car prices have taken off uh, with everything else. Have, have things kind of st stabilized a little bit? What, what are you seeing as far as price? Yes, we're seeing the prices for 2024 so far, they've been trending downward. And when new car prices trend downward, used car prices usually follow. One of the reasons for the new car prices trending down is that we see an abundance of inventory. So I'm sure you remember about a year and a half ago, there was a lack of cars, right? Today, we have more than enough cars and manufacturers are contributing some incentives, which is helping to keep the purchase price relatively affordable. Yeah, we're with Brian Moody uh, from uh, Auto Trader and uh, Brian, I get pitches every week on EVs, electric vehicles. Um, there's been a surplus of those as well as, as, as what I'm reading. So uh, where do we stand with uh, um, EVs and their innovations and their prices? And, uh, and that customers, customers have to make that tough decision. What, uh, what kind of leans most customers towards EVs? Well, I think if most people drove an, an electric car, they would like it. So the car itself, the experience of the driving is great. What's not great sometimes, depending on where you live and what your situation is, is how do you charge it up? So the, what I tell people is electric cars are an additional choice. When consumers have more choices, consumers win. So if you need an electric truck, they have that. You want an electric uh, sedan, they have that. Gas powered, they have that. Hybrid, diesel, all of those options help to make consumers get the best deal because they can choose and pick which thing works best for them. It's good to have choices. And uh, we're, we're with here with Brian Moody. He's up in New York uh, at the International Auto Show, which kicks off this week. And... Uh, Brian, I know that uh, we can talk about uh, the new vehicles, specific vehicles, till the cows come home. But when you peel when you peel back the layers there at the auto show, what trends are you seeing? Well, some of the trends are touch screens. Those are going to get smaller, I think, but also having a more horizontal orientation. So if you think about a lot of touch screens, Tesla kind of pioneered this with the big long one in the middle. People don't like that as much. A horizontal one up top, that's going to be a trend. Also, hybrids are a continuing trend. I think 2024 is gonna be the year of hybrids because people have realized it's a way to use less, pollute less, while still using the existing system. It requires very little adaptation. And some of today's hybrids can get 40, 50, even up to 60 miles per gallon. Yeah, and, and some of these hybrids are more affordable than people realize. Right. Well, for example, if you look at uh, a Corolla hybrid, you can get that for less than $30,000. Kia actually has one model with three different powertrains. You can get a uh, battery electric, fully electric, plug-in hybrid, or just a regular hybrid. And the thing about a regular hybrid, that would be hybrid electric vehicle. If you see HEV on the thing, those hybrids generate their own electricity, so you never have to plug them in. I love that Kia Hybrid. Uh, that's that's a great vehicle. Uh, you live in the, you live in the South, Brian, with me. Uh, Americans Americans have a love of pickup trucks like no other country. Are you seeing anything up there? Uh, there hasn't been a lot of new innovations in pickups. They've gotten uh, more features on them. You seeing anything in in pickups that stands out? Well, think about this. There's a trend towards smaller pickups. So like the Ford Maverick, for example, is a compact pickup that can be had as a hybrid or a turbo. I think some people are realizing, hey, maybe I don't need, you know, a $60,000 Silverado to just go to Home Depot on the weekends. 
Some of those trucks are great for contractors and they're great for home improvements. And if you use it every day, great, that's good for you. But not everyone needs a big full size half ton truck. Cars like the Ford Maverick are getting that done and also more utility within the existing vehicles. Excellent, excellent, excellent news for pickup lovers. We're wrapping up here with Brian at the uh, Inter New York International Auto Show. A lot of the media and celebs, the celebs will be there today. Uh, Brian, I know uh, Boomer Esiason, the former NFL quarterback, is going to be there today. Uh, what is the what is the one coolest thing you've seen so far, though? Tons, tons of you're like a kid in a candy store up there. But what's the one thing that you made you say, "Wow"? I have something in mind. Okay, Rick. So check this out. There's a Volkswagen display that has their new electric retro looking van, right? And right next to it, a 1949 completely restored, like brand new Volkswagen Beetle with all of 25 horsepower. That's really cool. I know. Isn't that hilarious? I know. For VW lovers, that's like a, uh, that's like a, a, the, the Holy Grail. Yeah, yeah. Brian, thanks so much. Uh, we'll put all the links in the show notes. You're going to have a great time up there. Sorry I'm, sorry I'm missing it this year, but uh, we'll see you when you get back home. Next time you come up here with me. I'll be there, but I've, I've been before, and uh, it's, it's a great show. Enjoy. Thank you.